Welcome back to the another class. Today, this is Sporting Club Bengaluru up against Kodagu FC. Match number 150 live from KSFS Stadium in Bangalore. Now, this is another important encounter. Sporting Club Bangalore, they are second in the table with 36 points in their bag. One game to spare. And they will be going up to 39 points with these three points if they can get that win. Whereas Kodagu FC, they have got 26 points in 14 matches that they have played. If they can get these three valuable points, they'll be going up to the fifth position in the league, overtaking Kickstart FC. Very important encounter. We will be starting with the action very, very soon. Don't go anywhere. Well, this is a big ticket clash. Second position in the table, SC Bengaluru will be on with Kodagu FC. Very important encounter for these sides. Their campaign, they will be looking to consolidate their position in the league. Kodagu FC. Suffered a heavy defeat in their last match against Bengaluru FC, who were sitting at the top of the table. That was a difficult match for them. Whereas uh, Bengaluru, they are in a good form. Now they are sitting comfortably at the second position, but they would want to chase the table toppers, Bengaluru FC. Both the captains with the referee, Raja Durai, referee for today's game. Sovik Das and Franklin Tarun Amal Raj. Both the captains, customary photos. And now they'll be moving towards the action. Well, in the last match, SC Bengaluru hammered Kickstart FC with nine goals. That was an emphatic performance. And they'll be taking a lot of confidence from that match. And they are going to be very, very dominant over this Kodago side because they know they cannot drop any point at this moment because they're title challenge depends on these three points these are very crucial points they want to chase bengaluru fc and their hopes of titles title is still alive and they've got one match in hand and they'll be going to the 39 points close to bengaluru fc 
just four points adrift of the table toppers. Whereas Kodagu FC, they'll be going to the fifth position, overtaking Kickstart. And they've got four matches in hand. So this is the advantage that Kodagu FC have. Sporting Club Bangalore, they'll be looking to replicate something of similar short, similar sort that they did in the last match. They had various goal scorers in that match. We saw a couple of braces as well from Vignesh and Shaiborlang Karpan in the last match for SC Bangalore. There will be crucial players in this match as well for this side. And we are underway in this clash. Sporting Club Bengaluru. They are aiming high and they want to soar high in this league table. And that's why they will be taking no chances in this match. Three points is what they are fighting for. In, in the initial seconds for Kodagu. They are playing in a different jersey this time around today. All blue. Whereas SC Bengaluru in their customary colors, their traditional colors. Manoj Swami Kanan with the ball finds Praveen Tiga. These are very crucial players for this side. Rocks of this side, as we say. Mr. Beglu with the position in the initial phase of this game. With Shanid Wallen. Finds once again. Long ball in the box. Finds SC Bengaluru player. And that's the goal. That is the goal. An early goal in this match. SC Bengaluru are continuing the momentum that they got in the last match. They are on a scoring spree. Nine goals in the last match. And this time around. First goal in the very first minute of this match what a start this is for the team in maroon that long ball from manoj swami finding the player in the box and then that is the final nail in the coffin goal first goal for sc bengaluru great start for them Kodugu on the back foot right from the first minute this is going to be a tough test for them Fantastic spot. Catching the Kodagu defense off guard with that long ball, Manun Swami. Precision. And uh, that has paid off. But what about the shot that led to the goal? Testing the goalkeeper. Sometimes you just need to take the shot and keep it on target. Johnson Joseph Matthews, jersey number 10, gives the lead to his team. So early in this game, that will definitely make the difference. Bengaluru, with an early lead in this game, they will be putting more pressure from their point of view. They will be putting more pressure on Kodugu FC. Manoj Swami once again, he has been everywhere in this game so far. Once again, puts the pressure. Almost got the possession on that occasion. Well, this has this player has been electric in the first three minutes. He has looked everywhere. And what a start this has been for SC Bengaluru. What they did in the last match to kick start. 
they would want to replicate the same heroics once again in this match as well. Kevin Tiga back to his goalkeeper. Kevin once again. Now, long wall in the wide areas gets the throw in this time around. Anod Swami putting the pressure. Just number 19 from Intiga going to take that throw in for Bengaluru. Will be looking for a long delivery right into the box. Looks like that. Not really. Swami once again. Puts another ball and once again a header almost on target. Oh, this has been an impressive start for the side. And those dangerous looping balls from Manoj Swami. What about them? Looks like every time he's putting a ball in the box that will have something at the end. Once again, finding the head of his teammate. Could not keep it on target, but that was a good attempt. Now, just number 27, finding some space, what a blue pass that is. Almost found the run of his teammate on that occasion in the box. This is silk. to go under pressure and they'll have to keep their composure it's not always easy to concede the goal so early in the game and then they jersey number 25 Os finds his play in the box almost did the job just needed a perfect ending to that beautiful cross I don't love with that full run, getting so much space for himself. And then Jersey number nine, Shlok Tiwari. Just had to put it on target, could not do that. But that was very close. Shlok Tiwari scored in the last match for Kodugu. That was from the spot penalty that he converted. That was the sole goal that uh, Kodogu scored in the last match. Which was against Bengaluru FC, a very tough side. SC Bengaluru this time around putting pressure. Throw in for Kodogu. First eight minutes. This was the first opportunity that Kodogu got in this match. There was a beautiful run from Arun Lal. And then put in an inch perfect cross in the box found the feet of Shlok Tiwari they'll have to do more of that they need to be critical box that is a good run danger great defending coming in at the right time with that full challenge to put that ball out of the byline Take a look at that. Such a neat challenge from jersey number 21. Shravan Shetty. Now another corner. Kodogu FC this time around. First for them. Goalkeeper puts it out. That was a good corner. Tested the goalkeeper. Had to put in that save. Another corner for Kodogu. Sustained pressure. This is good for them. They would want to dispel the gloom that has set in with a few efforts on target. Another corner for them. And they do something with this. Jersey number 27. This time around puts it. Header coming in. Jersey number 25. This time around Arun Lal scuffed the shot on that occasion. 
out front and throw it. Pressure from SMU with Robin Chetri. It was Sayyid Umair and uh, this time around uh, Sayyid Bengaluru cruising with the possession this time around. Another ball in the box from the season. Manoj Swami. He has been very dangerous. Shot from distance. Comfortable collection for the goalkeeper. Pressure. Pressure from Bengaluru. Jersey number six. Apu Arogya Swami. Conceded the foul. But I like the pressure that he put in. He want to get the ball as soon as possible. That's how I can maintain that intensity. He want to. Opponent, you are in this game. It's free. From the left, Kodagu trying to build up something. Kodagu keeping the ball. This is good for them. Composure is needed. You need to stick to your game. You see, so early in the game. Lords, that uh, these are very early phase of early in the game. Not to play. For Kodagu, stand up straight in the box. Major averted by Bengaluru. Ball back with Bengaluru. Flaming Das to Flaminda. Back to Tika. He's in a rock in the defense. To the left back, Manoj, who has been in the greatest crosses in this game so far. And see the bear. Putting the push. Another throw for Kodugu. And sees the possession. Just just has traveled to the left hand side for SCU, especially because of Manoj Swam heads to overlap. On the left hand, create those attacking opportunities with his crosses. Likes to go up on the pitch and take those and which the moves to create those opportunities by his side. In that situation, the role of the captain Sovik Das becomes really important because he sits deep in the midfield and then that role becomes really important. Another throw in for Bengaluru this time around.
Bengaluru with the possession, with the ball. Uh, they have kept the possession. Shot from distance. Nowhere near the target. Jersey number 33, Shanid Wallen. Trying his luck from distance. That was a good effort from Aniket Ghosh. They know that this Bengaluru side will test them. And as a custodian of the team, you would want to step up for your side. He knows that a lot of his a lot of, a lot of, a lot of the attacks will be coming his way. Interception from Kodugu. Trying to build up something. Chipped ball. Jersey number 33. Reaching ahead of the Kodagu player, gives it to Swami. This SC Bengaluru side will test Kodagu to the core. Will not be easy for Kodagu to get any points from this match because this Bengaluru side has been on a roll in the league so far. They have delivered some remarkable performances. FC at the back of a good match where they created those opportunities but finally lost to Bengaluru FC. That was an emphatic victory for Bengaluru FC. They did create some chances, Kodagu, but could not convert any of them. And that is a good ball. Good chance. That was a good run. Beautiful run from the right wing jersey number 21 using the width of the pitch Shavan Shetty. Just take a look at Shavan Shetty. Look at that run and what about this through pass? Finding Shavan Shetty's run in the box at the right spot. That was great coordination. That tells you a lot about this team. How well drilled the side is.
their coach Chandrasekhar Rao Chedda would be proud of his boys but he would bo want more from his boys because at this juncture of the league he would not want to rest this is where you need to be relentless three points in every game he would want to take Saeed Omer with the ball tries to pace out his run from the left puts the ball in the box no one really there to capitalize on that cross but maintains the possession Kodagu under pressure keeps pass one player puts the ball in and there you go the second goal this is why SC Bengaluru are such a threatening side jersey number 32 Arif Sheikh beautiful goal and what about that run from the right wing putting the cross at the right spot and Arif Sheikh does not miss that opportunity and SC Bengaluru have doubled their lead in the first 20 minutes only look at that run and then the perfect cross Arif Sheikh timing his run beautifully right in front of the goalkeeper giving him no space and clarity whatsoever to do what he wants to do this is a great goal that's what i was talking about this side how well it's drilled side this sc bengaluru is two goals in the first 20 minutes now that's what you call a start emphatic from them convincing start to this game two goal lead kodagu under pressure right in the first half in the first 25 minutes only they have conceded two goals and this match is gone, not going to be easy remember sc bengaluru scored nine goals in the last match against kickstart are they going to repeat the same thing in this match as well they've already scored two and i'm pretty sure there are more in store hey the man jersey number 27 with the ball gives it to swami we have seen this link up happening so many times in this match look at the way they're cruising with the possession no danger whatsoever they're strolling around with the ball at their feet Sayyid Omer Manu Swami looking for that overlapping overlapping run but Sayyid Omer once again finds his man in the box with that beautiful cutback that goes out for a corner but look at the movement Sayyid Omer beautiful attacking play from him absolutely smokes the defender in front of him and gets a cut back at the right spot earns a corner for his team Manon Swami looking for that cross keeps it with him he knows that he needs to wait for the right moment Sayyid Omer once again putting ball in the box that comes out Sayyid Omer linking up with Manon Swami once again we have seen this link up too often in this match danger still there this Bengaluru side is letting Kodagu any sniff in this match they have been all over the team in blue they know that these three points matter a lot for their title challenge what a start this has been they are relentless SC Bengaluru once again out for a goal kick this time around hey. 
So that's been a great start to this match for Bellu. It shows the confidence that they have going forward. Jersey number eight once again. And there you see that electric run coming in. Goalkeeper in danger. Somehow avoids that. Kodibu under tremendous pressure. Kodagu have got some time to breathe easy on the ball. But they lost it once again. And now, good effort from Shlok Tiwari to get that ball back. Kodagu ready to be resilient yes they've conceded two goals but they have a lot of time in this match to forge something and salvage something from this match now ball shrok tiwari Kodugu trying to build up puts the ball in the box he was looking for shrok tiwari and they've got a shot not on target Got a lot of space on that occasion. That was jersey number 12. Surya Ragish had enough space to time his shot, but he could not do that. Say the man with the ball. Probably digger. There's only one man up front, Shlok Tiwari. A lot will rest on his shoulders but his team knows that not a lot will be coming their way and they'll have to make use of whatever they get in this match and that's why the role of Shlok Tiwari becomes even more important scored in the last match for Kodagu his team will be hoping that he does something in this match as well Another ball coming in in the box. No one there to put head on that delay. Arif Sheikh scored in the last match as well. And now he has scored once again. Now this has been a good few days for him. Apu once again from distance a bit more composure needed on that occasion pressure pressure from Bengaluru this has been their hallmark they do not want to let Kodagu breathe easy on the ball
Manan Swami with the ball. First half an hour has been a smooth sailing for Bengaluru. Manan Swami trying to wriggle away with the defenders. And the way he has been taking those risks, they've got rewards for that. Manoj Swami has been an adventurous player on that left hand side. And going into the water break, this is a comfortable lead for the Bengaluru. On these 15 minutes in the first half would be very important for Kodugu. They would not want to to concede one more and uh, whereas sporting club Bengaluru they would want to extend their lead this was the chance look at that first goal that was courtesy of a beautiful shot from uh, Johnson Joseph Matthews and then Arif Sheikh Converting it. That's been a good start for this team in Maroon. They have one eye on their title. And for that they need to be as comprehensive as and convincing as they can be in this match. Rabin Tigga with the, that throw in. He'll be taking that long. His run up suggests so. Well, it was that right into the box. Once again, Bengaluru. Ah, that was really close. They're trying to maximize every chance that they get. Take a look at this long, long throw in from Prabhin Tigger. Almost in front of the goal. That was a great long ball. And that throw in was perfect. That long throw in. Putting the pressure on the goalkeeper. Well, the goalkeeper has been tested. He's conceded too, but he knows this is a tough test for him. It's not going to be easy. There might be more goals for him. Pressure, pressure from Bengaluru. Look at that intensity from jersey number six, Apu. And now, Kodugu gets that throw in. Jersey number 27 will be taking that throw in, Robin Chetri. Robin with the ball. Another, another throw in. Kodugu, manager, telling his boys to go up the pitch and put pressure on Bengaluru. These are the chances where you need to be at your best. They would not get too many chances. Puts the ball right in the box with that throw in. Shlok Tiwari trying to do something on that occasion. And that's a corner. Kodugu with the corner. The last few minutes has been decent for Kodugu. They have absorbed the pressure and now they're going up the pitch and trying to get out of their half. Just number 27 delivers it into the box, headed away by Bengaluru player. Well, 
Kodogu defense need to come back into their shape quickly. Because this Bengalu side know how to forge a counter. That is a heavy collision. No card, but that was dangerous. That could have been a card. It's not looking okay for the Bengaluru player. That is just number 10. Also Joseph Matthews who was down on the pitch. And that's a card. I was saying that could have been carded but uh, now it's actually been carded. Goes into the books. First card of this game. And it was a hard challenge. On uh, Johnson Joseph Matthews. Well he scored for Bangalore. First goal came from Johnson. Another ball in the box. This could have been dangerous. Sayed Umar has been so carded. The well, first card in this game and a yellow to Sayed Umar. Sayed Umar scored in the last match against Students Union. Bengaluru, once again. Comfortable collection at the end for the goalkeeper. Last 10 minutes in this half. Kodogu would be looking for that first goal that can actually do a lot of good to them in this match. We know that one goal can change the whole complexion of the match. And these are crucial times just before the half time. These are very vulnerable times. No team wants to concede in this period. And uh, if Kodogo somehow can manage to get that one goal that can actually open doors for them, not in terms of too many goals, but at least they'll get more opportunities than what they're getting right now. Bengaluru, once again, trying to use the pace and width of Manoj Kumar, Manoj Swami. Once more, ball in the box. Goalkeeper leaps high, Aniket Ghosh. Bengaluru keeps the ball. The possession has been kept by them for the larger period of this game. And that's how they have sustained this pressure. Look at the Kudagu team. They're defending all in their half. Every body behind the ball. And now when they've got two goals that really shows the penetrability on this, of this team once again. That was a beautiful cross. Jersey number 10. Johnson Joseph Matthews headed the ball. Could not keep that on target. But what about this exchange 1-2. And then that great run finding that space. And then coming with that cross. That's a fantastic effort. It was Shavan Shetty. With that cross and that beautiful run. I was talking about... The Kodagu team that they are defending with all the bodies behind the ball. All the 10 men in their box. And if in that circumstances, as say Bengaluru have got two goals, we can guess the penetrability of this team and how well drilled this side is. They know how to find those spaces. Even when the side is defending so deep in their half. That really shows the quality of this side. Foul. Committed. Verse number 21. Shovel Shetty. Free kick for Kodugu. Uh, 
I think you have beautifully used the width of the pitch with the pace that they've got on the wings and sometimes their full backs overlapping their wingers and trying to find spaces. This has been very eye pleasing to see. They have beautifully used the width and that's how they have created so many chances. So quick with their feet. Johnson with the ball. Which is play. Arms a throw in. Throw in for Bengaluru. Tiga with the ball. Once again, look at that. Trying for that give and go once again. Uh, that has been the pattern in this game. On the wings, they have done that. Cross coming in once again. Interception and clearance. Still with Bengaluru. The possession, they have kept it really tight in terms of possession for Kodugu. They have not let this team breathe easy on the ball. And the possession has been controlled by Bengaluru throughout the 40 minutes. But these last five to six minutes, they are very crucial. They cannot afford to be complacent. We saw in the last match what, what happened with another top team, FC Bengaluru United, who are just behind SC Bengaluru in the league table. Whenever the complacency seeps in, that is fatal for the team. And... Uh, SC Bengaluru and their coach Chandrasekhar Rao Chinta knows that uh, and they would be very aware of that. They need to keep piling the pressure. Cannot afford to take their foot off the pedal. Good to see a lot of people in those stands. Bright sunny evening here in Bangalore. That is out. Out for a throw into Kudugu. Then you are riding a good form. Uh, they are riding on a momentum that they've got uh, in the last few matches against Students Union in the last match. Uh, they had a comprehensive victory, a scoreline of 2-0. Before that, they scored nine goals against Kickstart. So look at the goals they've been scoring. Once again, they've got two early in this match. One is away this time around by the goalkeeper. Given away the possession by Shlok Tiwari. Orchestrator in the midfield, the skipper, Sovik Das. His role becomes very important when your team wants to advance and create pressure. Then these players become really important. They are the engine. Bengaluru with the possession once again. With Johnson this time around. Finds Swami. Johnson yet again has got his player in the space. Just number 18, Asif goes out for a goal kick too much on that ball last few minutes in the first half fantastic half this has been for Bengaluru but I would say the good news is that Kodugu has not conceded more than two goals. They still are in this match. And they can go back with 
one goal in this dressing room if they can manage to find those opportunities that will really lift them up all the dressing room chatter will be different if they can get that one elusive goal Jose number 25 with the ball how compact this bengal side has been even after going so advanced on the pitch the way they have held their shape this is commendable they are so quick when it comes to coming back and maintaining their shape that is why they are such a successful side two minutes added on in the first half will there be one more goal another long ball this time around bengaluru could have gone that away Pressure. look at the pressure from sovik das and swami intercepts that really well has not been letting any player get the possession when it comes to his zone swami once again with the ball he has been impressive so far in this match with uh, his defend defending and uh, of course going up on the pitch he has been very impactful with his crosses provik to swami finds the run appu has got swami to help him that pass was trying to find another player right outside the box it was an adventurous pass intercepted now this one that really shows this pass that uh, could go player made that really shows and reflects the story of this match they are in a hurry and why they are in a hurry that's a question because this bengaluru side are so compact and they are so relentless with their efforts always hungry for the possession look at this again back with the possession that's why not giving time to open it on the ball that really makes them impatient and the frustration creeps in last few seconds final move for bengaluru but uh, they'll be going back into their dressing room with heads held high because this half has been fantastic for them foul committed by the kodugu player it is say the man who was fouled on that occasion final chance to get something more out of this half and they go back to the half time with 3 nil on the score line interesting question we'll have to see this time it will be another free kick for sc bengaluru johnson joseph matthews has already scored a goal has got a lot of self belief will be looking to deliver it at the right spot delivers it headed away but not on target and that brings us to the end of the first half a half which has been completely dominated by sporting club bengaluru they are chasing that title they want to close down the gap on bengaluru fc and these are the goals that have kept them ahead in this match first by johnson joseph matthews that put them in the lead very early in the match and then comes this one that beautiful cross asif shake at the end of it and converting it half time 2-0 bengaluru leading and dominating stay tuned for more action in the second half
Welcome back everyone. This is going to be a nail biting second clash. FC uh, SC Bengaluru up against Kodagu FC and uh, uh, these 45 minutes are going to be a tough task for Kodagu. We are getting underway in the second half. Kodagu FC kicks off the proceedings in the second half which is going to be very crucial for them. They have been absolutely dominated by SC Bengaluru in the second half and in fact in the first half and it would be so important for them to at least put up a strong front in front of this SC Bengaluru team. They are a very solid side and they need to put that uh, three points in their bag so that they are intact in terms of uh, title. They want to go and mount that title challenge. And if these three points are secured, they'll be just four points away from Bengaluru FC who are sitting at the top of the table with 43 points. Now the first 45 minutes, if we have to go by that, this would be an easy match in the second half for SC Bengaluru. Kodugu will have to suffer and come out of it if they have to get any point of they have to absorb long one Kodugu trying to put the pressure foul not given by the referee and now that is a good play it was a uh, Sibagliudu player getting the ball back very quickly. Throw it for Bagliudu. Swami with the throw in. Out again, out for another throw in. They've got some substitutions as well. Jersey number 11, Tommy L. Shimre, has been substituted in for Asif. So, SC Bengaluru, and they do not want to take any risk and they want to plug those gaps that are evident, even though they are so less. But they still want to be as relentless as they can be. Ramin Tiga once again with his usual long throw in. Bengaluru putting early doors in the second half. Swami dropping deep and dropping in mid. Out. Out for a throw in. That attacking play from Bengaluru fizzling away. And you have started this second half with the same intensity that they were playing with in the first half. Shavan Shetty passes it to Jersey number 11 who has been substituted in right now. Johnson with the cross. Clearance coming in. Still with Bengaluru. Look at the possession and the domination that they are still wielding. And now... Trying to be cheeky on that occasion, Johnson. Apu with some space in the box. Tries to find Jersey number 21 with the shot on that occasion. Shavan Shetty. And now Sayyid Omer fighting hard. Takes the possession. He has been very crucial in this match. One of the 
key figures in that Bengaluru side. He has linked up with uh, Manoj Swami very well in this match so far. That duo has rigged havoc on Kodagu from the left side. Kodagu manager would not be losing hopes. He still has a lot of time to salvage something from this game. We just need one goal. And that will give them a lot of confidence. Prabhin Tiga once again with that long throw in. Has that got out for a corner not really that's a throw in throw in once again for Bengaluru pressure from them as usual you need to be very strong when you are playing against Bengaluru and Bengaluru FC sites like these do not allow too much, too much space on the ball cut in the ball once again do not chest it down in the box Swami finds Tiga. Tiga once again. Getting that one, two, and that. Looking for that through pass. No one absolutely there to receive it. under pressure keeping the possession this is good for them it's quick feet defeating Prabhin Jinga uh, with the pace but could not find enough space to travel along and get into the box just number 32 Arif Sheikh was pulled and now back with Bengaluru it has been so comfortable for them in terms of uh, moving around with the ball on the park. Not much challenge from Kodagu coming in. That is an interception. Once again, losing the possession, but now back with it. Look at the way Kodagu have been easy on the possession. They've been borderline careless, if I can say that. Because if you're playing against such a strong side, you need to be really strong with the ball. I know that this Bengaluru side is not letting them move around with the ball at all. But in the times of adversity, you need to bring the best out of it. Another corner for Bengaluru. Is the short one tries to find another angle? Swami puts the ball in once again. In the wide areas, and they've been using this width again and again in this match. I mentioned that in the first half as well. Another one, another delivery coming in, bit of a heavy delivery. Johnson with the ball, puts the ball cross in, header, hits the post and goes over and above. Jersey number 33, Shanid Walad, putting that header on target, but goalkeeper, Aniket Ghosh, putting that timely save and puts that out for a corner. But look at the cross and the header, inch perfect. Johnson, Joseph, Matthews, with uh, another corner this time takes another route just number eight the captain Sovik Das and uh, now Aniket Ghosh coming out once again decisive goalkeeping from him. but this team the Bangalore team they've not got goals uh, as much as they should have because they've conceded they've made in fact, so many opportunities. They have been absolutely dominant and the fans would want more goals from Bengaluru side because this side is capable of doing that. They scored nine goals 
against Kickstart. And two goals against Students Union in their second match. In their last match. Now, once again. Was that a ha shot for a handball? Apu with the ball. Trying for another cross and gets the corner. This Bengaluru side are riding high on confidence. 11 goals in the last two matches. Two goals in the last one. And two goals in this one as well so far. Their goal scoring form has been absolutely fantastic. And I believe they have more goals in this match. And they can definitely create more chances and convert them. And they have been such a quality side in this match. Jersey number 10, their main man, Jones and Joseph Matthews, once again with the delivery. Headed clearance coming in from Kodugu. Sobek Das with the ball. Will he be looking for a cross? Yes, he does. Puts it straight into the box. Family challenge coming in. Swami with the ball. Again, Matthews. Cross from him. Out. Out for a throw in. They started the second way the same way that they ended the first half. The second half has been as easy as the first one, if I can say that. Because they have not had too many challenges from Kodagu. Joseph Matthews once again looking for that cross. Still with Bengaluru. Two goals in the first half. Courtesy of Johnson J. Joseph Matthews and Arif Sheikh. Two beautiful goals. Sayyid Omar with the ball. Gives the possession back with Jersey number 21. This quick exchange. There you see. Ah, that is the poor coordination. Could have been better. Well, we have got some Bengaluru fans in the comment box. They, of course, want more goals. Because they know that their side are capable of doing that. It's good to have expectations. Shovel Shetty now. Jones and Joseph Matthews. Apu in the box. Puts the ball in the box, but uh, clearance is coming in. No one actually there. It was Arif Sheikh who has scored the goal in this match. He's looking to make a run. Another throw in for Bengaluru. Well, this has been all the way domination from Bengaluru in the second half. In the first half, we saw some glimpses from Kodugu where they wanted to go up the pitch and create something. But in the second half, it has been nothing. It has all about being Bengaluru FC. FSC Bengaluru. Like a pardon. Switching the flag in the box. What I feel is uh, they've been going too direct. SC Bengaluru trying for too many crosses. But they have not uh, landed up so often at the right spot where they would want. Yes. Precision in the last few minutes from SC Bengaluru. Fabi finds his man. Not really too much on that ball. Could have been a great link up play on that occasion. Goalkeeper was under pressure and decides to put that out. Could not afford to take any risk. Of course, he cannot. This team is already trailing by 2 0, and 
One more goal and this match will be done. It is not done and dusted yet, mind you. The match is not over yet. Kodagu can make a comeback. We just need one goal to change the momentum. Now, jersey number 21 finds his mate on the right hand. The God of Virth and uh, Sovik Das in the midfield. He has been very crucial. In the box. Kodogu's keeper coming in and putting that uh, very crucial body on the line and uh, in between the Bengaluru player and the ball. Franklin Tarun Amal Raj, Kodogu's keeper, has got a lot of responsibility. This has not been a smooth selling for them in this match. Jersey number 11. That's a diving challenge out for a throw in. Well, the Kodugu fullbacks, they have been on the job in this match. And they have had to put everything that they've got because uh, this Bengaluru side, they are master at using the width of the pitch with their pace and precision. The crosses have been fantastic. This man, Manu Swami, he is looking to create that numerical superiority in the midfield by tucking in. And that's why this Bengaluru side has been able to keep the possession with so much of ease. Look at that. Every player in their box would go FC. Completely sitting back. No chance for them to come out of their half. Once again, cross comes in. Clearance once again. Bengal is still with the ball. Shavan Shetty has got space. Finds the corner. Not really. Oh, that's not been given. That's good defending. Another substitution here. Jersey number 29 for... Kodugu coming on and goes off Alex Kontojam, just number 21. Kodugu making substitutions. They know that they have to do something else to make a comeback in this match. Long one. Looking for the chase. Goalkeeper coming out of his position. Makes the task easy for his defenders. That on defense and the goalkeeper has been fantastic in this match. That's why we see so much of smoothness when it comes to coming back and defending for your lives. So they have not been forced to do that in this match because they found it relatively very easy. To get along and get up on this pitch. Moving forward, they have been very threatening. Johnson once again has got enough space. He will make the run. He will find his player. Not really. Not this time around. Well, that player has been very crucial. Got the goal in the very second minute of this match. And he set the tone in this match for... Bengaluru, they were expected to dominate, but when you are expected to dominate, that's where the pressure is at the peak. You need to deliver. And with that goal, he set the tone in this match. Bengaluru once again, shot taken. Goalkeeper with the save. At a comfortable height, but that had enough power. And now, trying to put a counter, but when you have Manoj Swami, you can expect everything from him. Going up, tracking back, everything. That man does everything. He's been so fantastic in this match. Absolutely flawless. He has got that all-round ability with him. Very well-rounded game he possesses.
their coach would be relying on these players a lot. They look such a good side. Last 25 minutes in the second half, the regulation time. Three points, very crucial for SC Bengaluru. They want to keep Bengaluru FC in check. The title race is not over. We are getting in to the business end. This is where dreams shatter this is where you get the best out of yourself if you want to make any case for that title it's game ball in the threatening area out for the corner not really not given in by the referee these are tough times for Kodugu lost the last match as well by a scoreline of 4-1 well this scoreline looks much better but that match was against a very tough side Bengaluru FC who was sitting at the top of this table and the score good defense must be given credit because they have not let Bengaluru score more goals once again this goalkeeper well, Ghosh, he has been absolutely on spot. Aniket Ghosh has done his task, I must say. He has conceded two goals, but anyone would against this Bengaluru side. They are so good moving forward, but the goalkeeper must be credited for his performance. He has kept his team alive in this match. Attacks after attacks, he has been able to reply and with so much of solidity. His goals keeping has been fantastic, but he has one more challenge right now. Coming in, one more cross. Still in the dangerous area. Now, gets that out. Sayyid Omer with the ball. Quick feed from him. Good run. Was trying to find the run of his teammate from the left. Now that is out for a throw-in. Bangalore would want to more, would want to score more goals if they have to sit comfortably. Because uh, if they concede one goal, that will put them on the back burners. Because a one goal lead is a no lead. It is such a threatening lead. Can vanish any time. Just number 11 with the ball. Manoj Swami once again. He is ready to put that cross in. But he will go solo this time around. Out for a corner. Very solid Manoj Swami. Putting his body beautifully. Another one coming in. Goalkeeper, absolutely no chance for him. He was deceived. But somehow, Bengaluru have not been able to capitalize on that chance. That should have been the third goal. Look at that incident once again. Aniket Ghosh. Tried to punch it out, but absolutely miscued it. And then Shanid Walad 
credit must be given to the Kodagu captain. Frankly, Tanu Ramal Raj, he was there so that uh, Shandit Walan could not put his foot on that ball. Had he gotten enough space to put his foot comfortably on the ball, that could have been 3 0, and that should have been 3 0, to be very honest. They are a team of such caliber that they need to be converting these chances. Still defending, still sitting back Kodugu. They know that it is not easy for them to come out of their half. But they need to somehow find the ways of doing that because they are already trailing 2-0. They cannot get even one point by defending anymore. They need to find ways to create pressure on Bengaluru. Swami. That is out for a goal kick. Swami reminds me of Ben Chilwell. Very Chilwell-esque sort of a player. Loves to go forward. And his crosses have been brilliant in this match. Franklin Amal Raj with the ball. Goalkeeper. Uh, miscued it. Out for a throw in. The pressure. There has been tremendous pressure on the goalkeeper and the defenders. Another substitutions. Ishan and Shai. News number 13 and 17. Coming on for Apu Arogya Swami. And Sayyid Omer. Both of these players have done a great job in this match. They've done their task. Begulu to coach Chandrasekhar Rao Chinta wants to give minutes to his. Players sitting on the bench as well. Very honest, they have to in. Another one, another throw in. Rabin Tigga puts it long. Tigga once again from another angle. Kudugu under pressure concedes another corner. This has been consistent pressure from SC Bengaluru. Kodagu absolutely clueless. Up the pitch and creates some sort of trouble for Bengaluru side. They have been so good, this Bengaluru side. Another corner for them. Different challenge this goalkeeper Aniket Ghosh once again punching that out convincingly. Still, Bengaluru on the attack. Is that a handball? Vehement shouts for handball that looked very close, not given by the referee. 
will that be decisive incident at the end of the match will there be any impact of that call that will be interesting to see another substitution for kodagu jersey number 34 coming on vignesh srinivas and shlok tiwari he has been substituted out could not produce much but that's not uh, up to him he was uh, right up there but uh, could not get any service from his players of course bangalore side has been so dominant another hydration break and the things have not changed Kodugu are still trading trailing by two goals they're still under tremendous pressure they still have a lot to fight for How important this result is going to be for Bengaluru for their title probabilities. They've got a great chance to lift the title this season. They would not want to squander that chance at any cost. And that's why they have been ruthless so far. 11 goals in the last two matches. And two more goals here as well. Well, in this match, there should have been much more clinicality from them. They should have had more goals. Ball in the box, just number 21, Shavar Shetty. Could not find his player. That pass had too much of power on that. Should have been a measured pass. Another chance went to begging. Bengaluru relentless but they need to have more goals for this pressure cleared away but only as far as just number 33 is the shot Around last 12 minutes in this half, in the regulation time. Cross comes in. Rabin Tiga puts his head after a lot of time. Kodugu have uh, something, but that has been tackled really well by Bengaluru. Girls number 11 has got enough space. This cross blocked. Formi with the ball. Chips it. 
in the box. Good, good defense under pressure once again. Out for another throw in. Well, the title race is getting interesting. Today we saw FC Bengal United drawing their game after taking a comfortable 3 1 scoreline and a 2 go two goal lead. But then, scored a fantastic election from the goalkeeper Aniket Ghosh. He has been flawless in this game. He conceded two goals but has put in a lot of saves. This could have easily been 4 5 nil. Just number 10. Joseph was in the box, cuts it back. Comes the clearance. Goes all the way back to Prabhin Tiga. Swami looking for that give and go. Robert Das with the ball. He has been rock solid in the midfield. When you want to attack and when you want to advance on the pitch, it becomes really important to have one eye on your defense because it can really open up spaces in no moment. Comes the shot from distance wide of the target. No danger for the goalkeeper. If Kurugu somehow managed to score one goal, Bangalore would rue their chances. Comes in the cross, goalkeeper collects it. That was a good one after a long gap. First half was much for Kurugu than this. They've absolutely been nowhere around. Bengaluru in the second half. They've just sat back and defended. No opportunities whatsoever going forward. And this is where Bengaluru have got an advantage. They have relentlessly attacked and attacked and attacked. But they have not too many rewards for that. Once again across. Wayward. Good to see some crosses coming in and floating in from Kodugu's side. Another substitution. Oh, they've got two substitutions here. Sana comes in. And one more player. Yeah. We have seen so many matches where the team has been dominating throughout the 90 minutes. Uh, creating so many chances but not being able to convert them and then at the end conceding goals that is a heartbreaking thing that really shatters the confidence well, from Bengaluru's point of view they would be hoping nothing of this sort happens jersey 25 has been substituted in right now shavar shetty 21 is good space. Runs in the space. Well, that cross. The composure. Absolutely nowhere present on that occasion. Just number 11. Continuing hard. Has he drawn a foul? Looks like he has. That was Franklin Tarun Amalraj. He's protesting the decision. Not happy with it. There you go. A free kick in a very interesting area. Munis, uh, Manoj Swami. Beg the pardon. Manoj Swami would be going for it. Manoj Swami with his left foot delivers it, headed away, will go for a corner, yes it does. 
knees from the defender not bearing fruits so with das the skipper will be going to take that free kick in fact a corner so with das looping ball comes in another save another punch away from the goalkeeper manoj sami once again trying to chip that ball in the box not get get enough purchase on that one no more substitutions we've got a lot of substitutions in this match jersey 15 and jersey number 20 coming in Arun Lal has been substituted out. Throw in for Kudugu. Last four minutes in the regulation time. Can we see that one elusive goal for Kudugu? What happens? We'll have a thrilling last few minutes because Bengaluru will be on their toes. Three points will be in danger, and their title challenge will also be there in danger because they want to close the gap at the top of the table. If they can get three points here, they'll be closing the gap and reducing it down to only four points, and that is a close call. The title will be up in the air. Bengaluru FC. and sc bengaluru both these sides will be going hard for the title before that they need to confirm and secure these three points manoj swami once again in the box taken away good go another long ball another ball that just hopes for a run We not have enough purpose, and we have seen a lot of this from Kodugu. Not too much of purpose on deliveries. This is where they must improve. There are teams who win matches sitting back. It's not that when you sit back, you will lose all the time. There are so many coaches who adopt this tactical route. Sitting back and hurting other teams on the break, on the counter when they feel that they are comfortable in the match, that's when they want to hit them back. But we have seen nothing of that sort from Kodugu. Kodugu with the ball. Puts the ball in, and then coming in the clearance from Swami. Johnson, Joseph, Matthews, and Manoj Swami. These guys, these two, have been the stars for me in this match. They have done the job so far. Shot. from kodugu block by comes in another cross will this be the chance for kodugu to get that one goal manages to keep that in but bengaluru player would be able to take that away and draws the foul shirt pulled last few seconds in the regulation time and then the added minutes very little action left but all the secure their three points and also their hopes of lifting the title 
They are well and truly in the race. The race for glory in Karnataka. They want to train team in this league. Kodagu putting the pressure. Vulnerable moments for the goalkeeper and their defense. Now imagine the play would have been in if Kodugu had at least one goal. They would have been fighting for their lives. Last four minutes. Number 25 picks out his player. Long chase. Franklin Tarun Amalraj. He has been really good in that match. Played as a captain. His team not been that impressive in terms of going forward. But I must say that their defensive play has been decent. Yes, they've conceded two goals, but there could have been more goals. So from that perspective, this is not as bad a result that they would have expected. Against Bengaluru FC, they conceded four goals in the last match. So this is a much better defensive performance. Against a team which scored 11 goals in the last two matches. Once again, Ghosh coming into the act. Kudugu with the hopes of scoring one goal. They are in the fire and created a corner for themselves. Are we in for a Kudugu goal? Well, Bengaluru is going absolutely do that. But Kudugu can make the last two minutes willing and interesting. But they somehow managed to get that goal in. Geos number 27 with the cross. Robin Chetri puts the ball in. Headed clearance. And now, can they break on the counter here? Not too many defensive bodies there for Kodugu. There is three versus three. Bengaluru again. Aniket Ghosh, the goalkeeper, that man coming out and doing his job again. He has been instrumental in this match for his team. Look at that run from Arif Sheikh, but could not beat the goalkeeper. Corner. The way they have transitioned from defense to attack. That is commendable. And they've got a corner here. Delivers it directly. Aniket Ghosh coming out. Acrobatic effort. Ball still with Bengaluru. Chance still there. But a wayward shot. Nowhere near the target. Aniket, ha Aniket Ghosh has been fantastic in this match. This man on your screen. The goalkeeper. The scoreline could have looked worse than this. But he has made it respectable with his goalkeeping skills. Pressure on Kodugu in the last few seconds. We are almost approaching the end of this match. This might be the one last attacking play from Kodugu. And put out for a win. And that is the final whistle. Bengaluru, Sporting Club Bengaluru. They are well and truly in the race for the title. Three more points for them. And they have closed down that gap. They are just four points adrift oh, to the top of the table. Bengaluru FC, they need to be wary of this side. They are catching up. And what a performance this has been. Could have been more goals. But this was a dominating performance. Look at those two goals. A convincing victory for them. All the three points in their bag. Whereas Kodugu, they were resilient but not resilient enough.
to get any points from this match. Tunnel is the full time score. Stay tuned in for more action from BDF Super Division only on Sportscast India. Goodbye for today.